Welcome back everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we are taking on patterns with shapes. The first question is, in the following pattern, every second shape is filled in and every fourth shape is a square. Okay, you can clearly say that. Everyone's second shape is filled in, every fourth shape is a square. Which of the following statements are true? So we can choose multiple answers here. Choose all answers that apply. Very important to read the prompt. Shape 11 is a filled square. Well, since we're only two away, we can go ahead and fill this in. So every fourth shape, that means this one is going to be a filled, uh, what do you call this, cross shape. This one's going to be filled in. Okay. And then we have another, that's 10. And when we're looking for 11, it's going to be an empty cross because that's a pattern. Every... Second shape is filled in, so we're going to have an empty cross. Filled in square, that's wrong. Every square is filled in. That is true. If you look here, all the squares are filled in, and we already know that's going to be true because every four, it basically says every shape is filled in on uh, every second shape. That means it's only going to be even numbers. If it's even numbers, Four is an even number, so all the fours, every time we land on a multiple four, it's going to be solid. So that is true. So this is true. This is not true. Every even number shaped is filled in. And we just established that second shape. That's good. So we know it's B and C. Check it. All right, next question. Look at the pattern below. How many squares will be in the pattern at the sixth step? Okay, let's figure this out. Here we went from one to three. Then we went from three to six. Then we went from six to how many in this one? Four, seven, was that 10? Four, seven, nine, 10. Okay, so that's 10. Now, what's happening each time? We are adding one to each one of these little uh, towers here. So I'm just gonna show you what's gonna look like in five. Five, we're going to have five here one two three four five and then this was going to be four tall then we're going to be three tall two tall and then one tall okay so how many is that total well we have five four three two one four plus three is seven plus two plus one is ten that's what we had in the previous example so we're just adding five so this is going to be 15. what's happening each time well we added two, we added three, we added four, we added five, we're going to add six. So it's going to be 21, okay? 21 squares. Try to see, number one, you could draw it for the next one, but understanding how the problem progresses and how the pattern reacts from the previous one, that's important. This is probably the most critical component of this, if you can understand that bit. Error making task progress. Well, we're going to annoy that. I wonder if we can get back into it. Patterns with shapes. Okay, 21 squares, like we said. Okay, moving on. Max is a professional table organizer. For today's event, he brought four. Uh, he brought square tables. A single square table can seat four people, one at each side. As in the first picture below, each person, each circle is a person. If Max joins two tables along a side, as in the second picture below, he can seat six people. How many people can Max seat with even more tables? Extend the pattern and fill in the blanks in the charts below. Okay, so. I like that they already have a great chart for us, so we're just going to build off of that. But to visualize three, let's go ahead and get three tables up. Of course, you go like this, and I'm going to add purple dots for my people. So for three tables, we went from six to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, eight, four, six, eight. All right, I'm pretty sure the pattern is add two, but we're going to just double check that, and we're going to add an extra one there, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Now, why is that that we have adding two each time as the pattern? Kind of important to understand. Well, think about this. 
these end tables are always going to be end tables. The only thing we're adding is stuff in between these tables. We have a person here and a person here. How many people can we add if we add another table? Only two. So we're going to add two people each time to this pattern. So 10, okay, and then lastly 12. And this should be good to go. All right, next question. Look at the shapes below. We have rectangle, circle, square, circle, rectangle, circle. Oh, I'm looking at the answers here. So we have rectangle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, rectangle, circle. What is the pattern shown? Rectangle, circle, square, definitely not. Circle, rectangle, circle, definitely not. Rectangle, rectangle, circle. That seems to be the pattern, a pattern of three. So there we go. Ended up on a really easy one. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you see to see you next time on West Explains Best. Take care.